hi this is kapil so in previous video we did learn how to extract extract the xml and load the data into db and then we even tried to manipulate the same data and create a new xml output but somehow we did not succeed in doing that so this was what we were expecting to uh, create output like but this is what we managed to get in the end so like the xml is fine it, it's like a uh, tags wise it's okay there is no syntax error in this but this was not we were looking for and if we feed this xml file into the game directory the game is gonna crash right away because uh, you see this is not the attribute type the attribute type should be minimum speed equal to the quotes and things like that but we did not create that way so now then we have to do something fancy about it and this is the job that uh, this is one part of the transformation that is going to do so first off let's run this and just see how the data goes around there so preview we got this the data here and then select values is really going to do nothing much and then we split the streams into three different parts so this is the step it's called add xml and here we created a uh, tag called delivery and the field values are going to be this min, uh, type and then minimum speed as min maximum speed as maximum hardness friction and pitch type and then you see this column as attribute we have uh, you know selected it as y because when when you select attribute as y then you get the values with the equal to sign and not not like this see here we are getting just the value of the tag but that's that's not what we were looking for so if we put the attribute type as y we are going to get it this way we'll check we'll check it out anyways similarly the same thing we are going to do with the other two things we created a side spin and then we changed the values of side spin min as min max and default and the same thing for uh, top spin okay so now how the output was we are going to check here now you see this column top spin this column is output value from add xml column so now basically coming here all these other columns are of basically no use to us only thing we are going to worry about is top spin side spin and uh, and deliveries so yeah so these are the things we are going to work out, work on now but you see the the deliver uh, in the deliveries column the values of the uh, the delivery is like this but the tag is ending here but we don't want that what we want is that the tag should remain open and then the side spin and top spin should come beneath this for each delivery id and only then the next tag should start so how we are going to do that first of all we are going to remove this uh, you know end tag syntax this uh, this slash uh, by using the replace in a string uh, step and once done that we are going to sort it we are going to sort the data based on the id so that we join the right uh, you know uh, tags together like for each delivery id one I want to join it with the top spin and side spin of one. Okay, so and then this is one end tag which is going to be hard coded uh, end delivery. This I am going to join after merging all the things together. So now when we do this multi way merge join, it means uh, like multiple multiple inner joins all together. So you see the sort one, sort two, sort three, and tag inner inner join type inner, and the join keys is ID because each each of the thing like you see here here we have ID as one and top spin default zero max ten minimum ten actually we never messed up with the with the these these values we only messed up with the delivery type values so it doesn't matter anyways so then again. Uh, ID one side spin top spin and your uh, main deliveries. So then we are going to do uh, inner join on all of them based on the delivery type, and we are going to get so, so many things. But here in select, 
So we have got these three things which we want to keep and we have got deliveries column, deliveries one, sides, side as, top as and deliveries in the final but and the and the end tag end tag as uh, deliveries. So let's see how it is and then in, in the end we are just going to create the XML uh, out of it. This is a plain text file output and uh, type it, uh, the name is EA Cricket Delivery and then the extension is XML and and you see we have created deliveries side spin top spin and end tag as simple as that so let's see how uh, we already ran the job I guess but it doesn't matter let's run it once again and uh, let's go and check how this looks like so it's in the outbound and in the EA cricket delivery so let's go to uh, outbox outbound and uh, this is what we created uh, I think now this one this is what we created on 22nd of June so let's open this and it's not going to open for sure because the work is not done yet and uh, if you try to <clears throat> edit it you see still there is some there are some problems like there is there is a uh, type i mean there is a header over here and we we could have handled it by maybe just uh, removing the uh, you know uh, removing the the column headers from while we were creating it but it wouldn't have mattered anyways however there are other things that we need to do we need to do one thing that is you know uh, if first thing we have to do is that we have to uh, remove this uh, remove this header for sure and then we have to uh, you know put uh, all the things in the deliveries tag because we want to put all the information in in this in this tag and what we are going to get here is only delivery 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 and things like that but we don't want that we want all the things to be put inside the this master deliveries tag so for that we are going to have to use shell scripting and let's see how we are going to do that so let's close this thing for now and let's move to the another job that we have written in uh, Pentaho. Now what's really wrong about that? I don't know. Yeah, so this was first part of our job and then remove header and append tag. So this is where our shell scripting are going to come into use. And this is the local host and the server details. Let's, let's test the connex connection. Okay, so looks like the SSH, SSH daemon has connected and uh, we should be good. So now let's run this. Okay, so the shell script has run and we must have created the, uh, you know, the XML, the new XML file. So in this one, what we actually do is we uh, yeah, so this is the name of the final file that we have created, which is exactly the same as it goes in the game. So let's open this one. Let's go to outbound and uh, refresh it. So this is what we have just created 4.55 am and then uh, just open this, this one. So now this looks more good. So let's cancel the one that we created earlier. Now this was our input and this is this is our output. So it looks good. Now you see delivery type is off spin off, off break pitch type damp minimum maximum hardness and friction and so on and so forth. And then the side spin then top spin. So the layout is same now. So this is what we were looking for and we have finally achieved it by using uh, two jobs. One was our uh, integration job where we split the rows and then we did some sort of manipulations to achieve what we were looking uh, what we were looking for and a skeleton and then we wrote some shell scripts 
to do that so in shell script what we did we went to the outbound directory done it and i have even tested it in the game it works fine and then you get unexpected turns and bounce and and you know grips and it uh, and and you know swings and and cutters and things like that so it looks good and this is what we were trying to achieve and we have done it thank you so much for listening and your comments are welcome